Hello and welcome back to How to Connect with Humans. This is Series 4, Episode 2. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm oh, good. good. So it's Friday night. We don't usually have no. an episode on Friday night, but this is a very special episode. Absolutely. With a very special lady that we love very much. Um, she's coming all the way from Greenland not to a living room directly, she's still in Greenland. And uh, so this is February of 2021. And uh, we have Eva Loanfield. And oh my gosh, the first time I saw Eva Lo and I heard her talk, my heart just, just went out of my chest. I felt like I found uh, a, a sister somewhere that I didn't know that uh, everything she said resonated so, yeah. so profoundly. So, Eva, look, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much. How are you? Thank you for inviting me. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to have an opportunity to speak a little bit about of how this understanding has changed my life. So. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> oh, so nice. And Anna, <laughs> you wanted to talk about listening. Um, and obviously, you just feel free up wherever that takes you. Uh, but we know that's a, a brilliant, a brilliant mm -hmm. thing to talk about. Yeah. So, um, so it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, well, I don't know where to start, um, but I'm right now. I'm just feeling this grateful feeling. Um, because I never thought of, I have never thought about listening um, most of my life <laughs> because um, before I had my first insights um, I thought I was a pretty good listener um, but then I read Second Chance even before I understood the understanding. I read the book Second Chance on my cell phone when I was at the hairdresser and I was reading it and there were part of that um, where they're talking about the difference between debating and listening and how the ego um, gets in the way to really listen and to really hear and, and, it, and it struck me there because I was, I think my ego was in shock <laughs> because I, I saw something very deep and truth. Um, and, and it opened up something inside of me and I knew it was the truth that I haven't learned to listen properly all my life. Um, and 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 in my with my educational background, we were encouraged to discussion to have discussions, to come with our uh, critical views or to analyze it. Um, and and when I grew up here in Greenland when I am with my parents or when, when we are together as family or among friends, um, it's this debate, um, encouraging to, to, to have a debate conversation or uh, discussions. It, it's nothing that I am brought up with. It's nothing that I, I am used to, like having conversations where 
everybody's talking loudly. It's nothing that I'm I grew up with. So it's in the in my educational, it's there that I started to do that. So it was a new thing for me to to get very analytic and to trying to win an argument and 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 this part of playing with the intellectual mind. And it, it's very new. And I met my husband and he's, um, he loves to study and he's a so- sociologist and he loves books as I show you uh, here in his office, he has many books. So this intellectual stimulation was very natural for him. So, um, so when I read that in Second Chance that when I understood that I haven't learned to listen, um, it was an eye opener because it meant that what I what I have been learning in my education um, didn't mean that it has such a big value anymore. Uh, <laughs> because it's it's up here and it's in in the ego so i felt that i needed to let go of everything i have learned uh, because it's it's not where the truth lies anymore <laughs> and then it 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 was very terrifying <laughs> because i had to give that up <laughs> But I, 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 love, I love to learn, I love to read, I love to explore, I love to um, read books and I love to learn um, um, as it's my nature to, to learn and I love to learn and I'm very curious. Um, and then, and it took some time when I, when I had time to listen to an audiobook, uh, which Meta Louisa Holland has written, I listened to, to it on the airplane. And, and that's where my life changed um, completely. Uh, and I didn't know that that was gonna happen. And it happened, even though I didn't ask for it. It happened, even though I I, I <laughs> didn't search for it, even though I didn't know that I needed that, or uh, it just happened to me. So, and my life turned upside down, and everything fell apart, and and then I had this new birth. Um, and and many insights came to me very vividly and in picked in visual visual um, insights as it was as I was as if I was watching a, a movie I saw that as pictures and one of the very big insights that feels big for me is that. Um, Is, is when I was in a very black, it's like being in nothing, in a very dark place, maybe up in, in the universe, it was just black. It was totally black and nothing was there. Mm. And, and, and I felt that, that I was the only one in that dark place. And the silence was so deep, very deep. It reminded me that um, whenever I we have been traveling to other places in the world, and when we come back to Greenland, and then we step out from the airplane, and the the airport that we when we get there, it's only mountains, and there are no silence, uh, there are no noise, and when when normally when we get out from airplane, we I many times has have experienced this um, loud, 
because it's so silent, my ears had to adjust to that silent. All the background noise has been so um, dominant. And then when we get back home to Greenland, we get back to the silent uh, uh, areas. We come back to the silent, um, peaceful uh, towns. We get back to this um, nature, very because we're so close to nature. So I am familiar with that feeling when everything gets loud because it's so silent. <laughs> so in that inside, when I was in that dark place, I felt that I was so safe, even though it was all black, it was all dark. And it was such a beautiful feeling to experience this silence. It's a silence that I never experienced before in this life. <laughs> it, and it gave me such a, a safety feeling and, and, and it's a familiar feeling. And then I felt so safe. I, was, I felt so uh, surrounded. <laughs> I felt so embraced. Um, so... And then after that experience, I saw this giant lights of around lights. And it's even today, I, I don't really understand what that was, but it's, it's something creative, angel, intelligence. Um, and it seemed that I was away from that but I knew that I was part of that. I was in a distance, but I was also there at the same time. And, and, and I was just there hanging in the air or <laughs> I don't know how to call that, just being in the air, floating in the air and watching that round giant light and it transformed into different, um, different, um, figures or forms and and I didn't understood what that was but I, I it hit me later on that that it's something that I co-create with depending on what I thought it also changed what I saw and um, so I, th I was thinking is it a is it a waterfall or is it a sun or is it a light what is that and then and and it changed diff, changed many times and and then i knew it was i was communicating with that and i saw this freedom and this beautiful freedom of um being separate men, but also being part of that at the same time and the gift of seeing that from distance, but the gift of being with that at the same time made made it as if it was more multidimensional um, experience. Um, and I don't know what happened afterwards, after those insights, when I, in my normal, when I came back to normal days, my listening changed too. The way I listened to my husband and my children and my friends, my uh, former co-workers, I, I, something shifted inside of me. And I, even though I didn't work to change that, I didn't develop it. I, it just naturally, my, my ability to listen um, expanded or um, in this neutral feeling or neutral observance feeling and ex um, experiencing the situation 
became so different and I, and I felt different and I experienced life differently, even though they are the same situation, same uh, people, same circumstances. Um, and then I started to, to understand beyond their words. I started to listen and understand their behaviors um, beyond their behaviors, beyond their words. And, and it's like an, another inter, inter, interpretation <laughs> systems. Uh, and I saw beyond their personal uh, mind. And I saw the person, the real person behind that. And I could see through, I could see through them and I could understand them. And I didn't have to take their words, their behavior so seriously because there are something beyond that that are communicating to me. <laughs> and in, in the beginning, I didn't know what to do with that, with those new experiences. And I was like, am I going to just listen without reacting or without... Um, without having being part of their dialogue or what I'm going to say, what I'm, you, I know because I know they're living in their separate realities and I can only just see and observe and listen to what they're experiencing as if, um, because I saw that they're, they're believing that life is experienced outside in they are, they are believing the illusion. And I, I, and I knew that they are in their re separate realities. It felt so real to them. And I knew that it's, it's only in their separate reality. Then I, with me stepping back and watching them explaining or, and, and, and I didn't know what to do with myself and then later on it hit me I mean I, I understood that I'm just gonna listen and just be present and I didn't I don't have to do anything uh, I did I don't have to be in a specific way I only have to be there and listen and and if there are something new that comes to my mind I'm, I'm just gonna ask them or share them or so it's like I had to take a new a new uh, way of being with them. So this transition that happened so um, spontaneously, it's something that, that I had to adjust to, <laughs> to live with. So uh, it, so it's- Just, just mm -hmm. to be clear, because, um, because I know there's people that are gonna be watching that they don't yeah. know what we're talking about in a way. Um, so um, when, when, so, when you're so beautifully talking about this understanding and we're talking about um, an understanding that Sydney Banks uh, uncovered spontaneously uh, her insight and um, which is the three principles and what you're saying is so beautiful that you know it's not something that you you need to learn or or that it's just and and for many people they don't have a huge insight or you know, um, yeah. it's just it's just something that you start seeing things differently and um, I don't know if that's 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 your experience like mm -hmm. that that it as you say like without realizing you start seeing life in it from a slight different position um, and and so um I think what I what I'm really curious and, and I think it's like how when when you started seeing through different eyes as you were saying how did that change your life on on your everyday life so um, because um, sometimes I can see that people say well you know I, I didn't have like a big you know big bang of like so. Um, and so, so how how did this change um, 
your everyday life or how did you see other people change and um lovely to hear yeah um um and later on i understood that it was called deep listening um and 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 I and I notice when I am up in my own personal mind listening, and, but also in a deeper level or in a more expanded level. I don't know how to call them, but I listened to them differently. And I couldn't join their drama anymore. I couldn't join their illusions anymore. But I understood where they're coming from. Um, and, and I understood that they are experiencing their own thoughts about their situation and and it doesn't come from me so knowing that helped me to see that I wasn't responsible for their feelings and that gave me such a freedom and because there I am also experiencing experiencing my feelings from my thoughts and they are not from them they are not from my work they are not from the um, the um, laundry. <laughs> My laundry is not making me feel uh, tired or stressed. <laughs> so, um, for example, with my husband, I saw that he's not the one who's making me feel irritated. He's not the one who's making me feel any kind of feelings. And when I saw um when i saw that from up above that he is experiencing his own thoughts about a situation and i am experiencing as as the same thing with whatever thoughts i'm thinking about the situation and i was like i could listen to him more and i i just only to listen to that and and then not get defense defensive or taking it personal or taking it serious. So with that, it, it made me, it made me so spaceful. I don't know how to say, um, I, I could, I could be there. I could, I could, it was easy for me to be alive. It, it was easy for me to be fresh there. I mean, being fresh and then and, and not being that easily affected from my circumstances and and it and 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 it gave me so much energy to do other stuff uh, and also at my pr uh, previous work uh, i have thought that my uh, leader did something to me to make me feel uh, and all my work is making me feel something stressed or um frustrate frustration <laughs> or but when after those insights when i came to work and i saw all those personal thoughts uh, like here in the air and i knew there were just there are just noises <laughs> and i didn't have to take any of them seriously and i got more creative new fresh ideas to some of the, the things we we're working with. And I saw that uh, how, how um, innocent it was for me to believe how I thought that my work is making me um, angry or um, frustrated. And, and it's everything was from me, not from that. And, and I let them go. I let them go easily, just like the rain r rinses or the rain washes the dirt away. <laughs> and it just easily flow, flew away or it just easily was away. <laughs> Uh, it just disappeared <laughs> but I knew that when they come when they come I just oh they are here <laughs> okay then and then it's up to me depending on my state of mind um, um if I'm gonna 
listen to them or not. And also with my daughter, I, I could see her differently and I could listen to her differently. And, and it's such a easy, it's an easy way to hang out with them. And previously, I normally would look up in a book how to raise a child and how to listen or how to dig, 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 and then follow that instruction. And then those things were not longer needed. And that's why with my educational background, being um, edu uh, early childhood education is my work area. Um, and all, all those theories, they made no more sense because... They are all thoughts. They are all from mind. And, but, but the most important thing I saw that it's in the moment. It's what comes in the moment. When I see, when I see fresh, it's in the moment that, that I'm going to go with. And all those rules I have made up from my education, they, they, they are allowed to be there and I can use them anytime, but they are not the truth anymore. <laughs> I, but I know they can be helpful in any situ uh, some situations, but I didn't really have to rely on them. But I know they could be helpful tools if it's necessary. So listening to, to my own wisdom, listening to my, to my own heart, Came very became very clear and I could listen to my soul very clearly because all those um, Sydney Banks call them um, polluted or how do I remember um, thoughts and con is that what you're trying to say? Like it's, I will. It will come up, but it's something that um, they don't. I don't have to listen to those contaminated. It's contaminated. contaminated yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Same word. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's um, it's nice to recognize the differences when when I see my own personal contaminated thoughts and when I hear the freshness or, and, and this pure, this uh, new and fresh, and, and I know it's like a very um, cold wind or a nice cold shower. Uh, and I know it's, it's, it's helpful for me. Um, so listening to the differences and, and then, and then follow that um, can be challenging also because in depending on which state of mind I am, I know that um, it's difficult to listen or it's difficult to have clearer mind. Um, so my ego gets in the way as well. So, but also embracing my egoness <laughs> is also being part of that listening to that and and also embrace that because i cannot get rid of that so living with that and living and listening to those different voices different <laughs> um i love what you were saying about the you know like look reading books about how to bring up your children i, I think mm. you know it's like we, we all feel so lost when, in a way, when you have children, you think like, oh my God, nobody told me it's going to, you yeah. know. And, and most people say, well, they don't come with a manual, you know, on how to raise <laughs> a child. So, but um, because I went and did the same, I bought the books and I was like confused, you know, when was saying like, let her cry. No, 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 don't let her cry. No, it's just like, and now, you know, wish I knew 17 years ago, in a way, what I know now, what I must done now. But yes, 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 they come with a manual. They come with all the wisdom in them. Like we come with all the wisdom we need to, to, um, to bring them up. And, and, and I imagine when you work with children as well, 
just being able to sit down and 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 look at these beautiful fresh children that they're so close to this they're just like we're all full of wisdom we don't need to go find it somewhere um so what, what i'm hearing from you saying so beautifully and poetically you know is so close to nature that you know when you know it's all fine when you know that everybody's sitting in wisdom everybody's sitting in perfect well-being that you don't have to go fix anything you don't have to go learn how to be a parent because that that's already a full combo that comes with a package it's like Yes, yes, we, we came with all the manuals available, um, <laughs> even when we feel really lost, you know, and <laughs> uh, lost in translation, <laughs> lost in conversation, you lost uh, everything you need because they have left all the toys around. But um, I, I think that's, you know, um, that, that's, that's what I love when you talk, it's just, you know, so fresh that you can see that that beautiful wisdom in everybody that you discover that you were fine and that we're all you know it's like when we met like um was one of the, the things that we talk about was uh well we are we are not some the definition that sometimes we we present ourselves with um and uh so i i know you do i remember my <laughs> first one of my first big insights was and you saying about like the definition of us was my first insight was that i'm not my disability wayne mm. yates is not somebody with a disability wayne yates has a disability yes granted but for years before and even into my childhood I was kind of always brought up to believe that Wayne's got a disability he won't be able to do this or that or the other or whatever and when I came across this understanding it was yeah I've got disability but at the same time I can be whoever I want to be I can be me but I can also have different ideas of who I am you know and I can do different things on different days Wayne isn't somebody with just a disability there's a lot behind Wayne and I think that's what I heard in what you were saying it was just so beautifully put mm -hmm. it was incredible and it's it's yeah, it is absolutely beautiful when when you are free from all the labels that you thought you were. <laughs> it's, it's so... I felt so huge. I felt so big. I was like expanding. But I could also play with those labels anytime, but I was not dependent on them. <laughs> Yeah, so like playing, you know, like when kids play, sort of a pretend or dress up, you know, like today you can be one thing and the next day, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, so that's the thing. So nothing sticks so much. It's like you become more like uh, Teflon than Velcro. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it, somebody can say something about you, but that's, that's not who you really are. And we're not we're, we're not saying we're condoning acts that when when people can do things that are harm you know harming but um, there's 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 something that we can see the innocence and also when we're sitting in that wisdom then we can act in in a very um, specific um, uh, more um, helpful way mm. so you don't you don't really usually hear people in situations where they they have an emergency 
that they freeze. We think we're going to freeze. We're like, oh my God, how does that work? Usually people just are called to action. Mm. Like wisdom kicks in and they're like, you know, you hear these people like lifting cars that, you know, this granny yeah. lifting a car or whatever, you know, but, or, or anything, you know what to do in that mm. moment, you know what to do. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I wonder, is, do you think it's a good time to open it up for questions or people sharing? Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to mute uh, people and you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And um, so feel free to either mute yourself to ask a question or share something, um, or you can write it, um, put your hand up, it's up to you. I have, I have. I remember um, I listened to an audio, Sydney Banks. They have recorded the, the great spirit. Um, <laughs> I was at work uh, when I was transcribing it. I, I, I wanted to transcribe that. And I was listening to that and then and also I came in, into um, something in the state of something very deep. And I also heard beyond his words and the beauty of that we are all one. And it just, I just sometimes dive, dive in and then go back again. <laughs> and then that, that feeling of being one with ocean, but also being a drop in an ocean but being ocean in the drop was so mind blowing that it's, it's, it's just in different words. It's just, he's, he's speaking in a language where in a just different forms, different words, but he's saying the same thing and we are all saying the same thing. So, and, and somehow I have felt this separation with life, separation with universe but with that listening to audio, I also get um, blocked in. I, I became one again with that oneness. And, and it's so delicious, it's so delicious to listen um, when I am able to listen. Um, and, it, and, and I really just love also when I have conversations, I also listen beyond their words, beyond their history. And, and, and it's, it's I, I am so in love with that. <laughs> and it's amazing how you all keep hearing new things yeah. or you go back to the book and you go, you know, somebody posts a, a quote from one of six books and then you go like, where was that? I, I, I'm not sure I read that. And you go, oh, you read the same book again and something, <coughs> because um, uh, I, love, I love something uh, that uh, uh, the, um, that I heard, you know, about when you read, when you read or you listen to Sid, it's a lot easier to listen to yourself. Mm. So every time, that's why I feel like every time I'm reading or I'm listening, because the content is not in the words, um, I'm somehow listening a bit better to that stillness in me and that, that wisdom um, in me, which is what he, he did so beautifully, that still um, leaves uh, on his recordings and his videos um, and the people that keep passing it on you know as, as pure as they can and as pure as you we can because obviously we 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 didn't manage to see him alive and um, but still spreading in a beautiful way um, 
so um, uh, people are very quiet, which is a very good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, if anybody wants to ask anything or share anything, please feel free. And if you don't, we're not going to feel offended. Um, <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, Christopher. How are you doing? Um, two, two things. Um, one, this understanding, because I heard it before. I heard I had a um, group today as well, and it's like they pointed me back to something where, as we was growing up, there was always something that would that we was curious about and that's a sense of belonging and a sense of being in terms of whatever you, you remember when you was five, you remember when you was 15, but there was, there was a sense of you still being in terms of when you said, uh, when you said we're all created as one, I think we all come from the same, uh, same tree, just different root. Um, and being silent, like the more, this is a new year, so the, this year, 21, I'm, I'm getting a better understanding of certain things that I felt that was, a, that was needy in terms of me doing things when I don't need to do things, when I'm in that silent state of mind. Instead of getting into my thoughts, so I can just, just stay in silent. And before this understanding, me being in silent and just being quiet, being present with myself. Yes, sort of like meditation, but just just to recap, um, recap of the day, whatever you've gone through and when you finish and you come back home and we don't get that luxury no more because we're in lockdown, but just to have that moment and second and think, you know what, you want to just be in silent and just reflect on, reflect on everything you've done that day. Before this understanding, I couldn't, I could, I won't be able, I wouldn't been able to do that because I'd be worked up in my head so much. But once I've got the grips and slowed down what's going on in my head and not even taking a notice of what's going on in my head and just being present, I've been able to connect more. And even before you was talking about the feeling and Words are just words, but the feeling of love, no matter what country you're from, it's still the same. It's the same feeling. <laughs> it's always the same feeling, no matter what language you speak. But that 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 feeling of love never changes. Never changes. Even that feeling of curiosity that never changes. So there's certain things that knowing now, growing up, that it's in our DNA, and we just need to tap into it more. And the way I tap into it is in that silent state of mind and being present I can just tap into my hope I can tap into my sadness I can tap into yeah like once again curiosity I can just tap into those things and it's it's okay and when I'm I heard it perfectly a couple of days ago when you're overwhelmed with your thinking sometimes you it, you can cry and you well, it burst. I'm only speaking about me because when I was when I've got this understanding I had it I got it in prison so when you're in prison, you're not allowed to cry as we're around big, scary people and you're not allowed to cry. But it was okay for me because it was, yeah, I needed to cry. I just needed to feel alive again and to feel, to feel present, to feel, to feel, not even belonging, but to just be, to just be, to just be human, just to be me, just to be and forget the worries and labels that people put on you, just be just be you know what I mean just be so yeah thank you thank you for today because it, 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 it started off as listening and I was very curious I thought All right, let me let me let me dive in and my second question was with this understanding have you found any barriers or is uh, there ain't no there ain't no limits to this but I'm just wondering have you since getting to this understanding do you st do you still get it difficult times or not? That's 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 a question I want to ask. Um, it's like when I am in in a low state of mind, it's difficult to 
be there. Okay. And I want to control to get better again. But I know with this understanding, it's uh, I just have to let that be and then it will go away. But but I re I know that um, when I have mm, haven't slept well or if I have been sick, I remember I I I, I remember those um <laughs> unwanted feelings <laughs> and I, I I don't want to listen to my body <laughs> I just want to get well or uh, with the barriers I can also see that uh, when people are using innocently um, their thoughts when I for example my husband when he's not able to listen to me but he's listening to his his own thoughts and I know that he cannot listen. I can see that he cannot listen. And then, and then I have to be very patient, <laughs> even though I know there's a sim simple way, but he's not there, but it's, it's okay, he's there. But I sometimes wish with my ego that he has learned to listen, but he's caught up in his mind. So I sometimes see that as a barrier to have a better communication um, between us so <clears throat> um, but I I am armed with patience now <laughs> and understanding <laughs> but but it's what comes to my mind right now that I, I wish um, that he can listen better but he he's not there and it's okay and uh, I can just listen to him <laughs> Okay, because I had that, well, when I got this understanding, I wanted to share it with everyone. Yeah. I wanted to share it with everyone. And I'm 34 now, so I, I got this understanding, yeah, three years ago. And I could honestly say before I got this understanding, I was not listening. Not to me, not to myself or listening to the other person, um, to listen to the person that was I was speaking to or we was interacting I were, I was more concerned about finishing his sentence or trying to figure out what he's trying to say so I could just finish it instead of being patient and listening to what he's got to say. I'm quickly trying to rush him to finish his sentence or speak on he that he's about to say something, but I'm gonna add my two piece before he finishes the sentence. And just yeah, it's it just to reflect back on it and to see like wow that that not listening and even right now it's a, it's a, I'm in a new state of mind and when you said lack of sleep ugh, it's not it's not what I wanted but it's just the seconds that I'm getting to experience to of being a dad I'm getting a lack of sleep but there's so much fun in it like there's so much fun in it and and it's a bit stressful I'm not gonna lie but but just being present and being patient because <laughs> that's, that's what it is right now. I'm getting to learn a lot of patience right now. Yeah, I had, I had patience before, but right now it's even more. It's, 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 it enhances to the fullest to be impatient and just being present. So they're the two things that I think I'm doing more and more each day as it comes. And he's going to be a month old. So, yeah, each, it's been a month and I've been, yeah, getting better at being patient and just being present with him. So did it not come with a manual, Chris? No, nah, it doesn't come with a manual. It doesn't come with a manual. It really doesn't. <laughs> but I also allow myself to be impatient. <laughs> Embracing that humanness and and, and 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 just knowing and know and being aware I am where I am. And then it gives me it gives me freedom to not judge myself. So it's nice just to be, as you said, just to be there and be that. And then, and then it's always moving. It's always changing. And, and it's, it's, yeah. we are aware of that. So it's, it's enough. <laughs> mm, it's enough for us to keep, just to remember, to remember. You know? Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. What I'm hearing is like 
you know, the feeling is not a problem. That we don't want to have the feeling is, is a problem. So the feeling just comes and goes, but when, and, and we completely understand where you're coming from, Chris. So the more tired and hungry and, and, and then you realize that you have a baby, maybe you haven't had a shower in three days because you haven't had time and, and you don't know if you want to eat or, <laughs> or change your clothes. They're all covered in, you know, in sick or, you know, it's like, and there's two people, you know, you're with a mom that is all hormonal and, and, um, it's a bit of a crazy world, you know, it's a lot of thinking. <laughs> yeah, you go. And, um, and uh, it's a roller coaster of feelings. And, um, uh, and the, nothing says that this is a prescription for you for only having good feelings. This, this, that's not, no human being is supposed to do that or be that, or, you know, we're supposed to be like your baby. We're, we're, we're more um, in a better space when you're like a baby. So if he feels hungry, he cries like, you know, it's like <laughs> bloody murder. And, and if he's, you know, and if he's peaceful, then he either falls asleep or he's, uh, you know, nice and cozy in somebody's arms or, you know, his, his nap is wet, then, then he's going to let you know, you know. Um, and then it just passes by. He's not holding grudges on, oh, that nappy that you didn't change at six o'clock, you know, I'll remember for the rest of my life. Just a, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's, that's, you know, you let you let us know, you know, in a few years. But um, I guess it's that it, it just flows from one feeling to another feeling. It doesn't. Your baby doesn't have a set of uh, like, you know, the, the the feelings that he's gonna have and the ones that he's gonna think they're wrong to be having. It's just gonna have the whole set. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and in a short space of time as well. It could be one minute happy, the next minute he's upset. And mm. I, I love that because it's I love when you said about going back to being a baby because I know Dick and Bethan just talked about it quite a lot and he absolutely adores babies and I think for me it was and even more recently I kind of just thought you know what when I came across this understanding I, I used to believe that it wasn't you know you could not you, you couldn't have you shouldn't kind of be angry or you shouldn't have all these feelings and things like that and for me it was just kind of dropping that and kind of realizing that yes we've been given such a gift of having an understanding and coming across an understanding but also just to to have the freedom to be able to feel to be able to feel anger, to be able to feel peace, to be able to feel upset. It's just, it's the way of life. And for me, what I feel sometimes is the longer I hold on to, oh, I shouldn't be feeling like this, or I should be feeling like that, the longer it sticks around. So if I can kind of just let myself be in whatever mood, feeling I'm in, the less time I'm in a bad feeling, and then I can come home. Or the less you can think about it, because the more and more you get caught up in that feeling, you feel like you have to do something to just get out of that feeling. But if you can just sit with that feeling and just know it's going to pass, and you're going to see that door that's going to open up and say, hey, you can come out through the door now. You had your little moan and... You know when you're that, that when a kid's bad and you just send him to that corner? That's it. You've gone to that naughty corner. You felt what you felt. You've done it. Get out of the naughty corner. You can go back to, you go back to the reality again. But so you can just sit with that feeling. It's okay. And sometimes I only can speak for myself that uncomfortability 
stopped me from experiencing what I'm experiencing now. Before it was nah, because it's I've never done it, it's uncomfortable. I won't try and last as long or stay as long. But now I'm okay with the uncomfortability. The uncomfortability opens up more doors for me. And like how you said, it's only a feeling, it's gonna pass. It comes like a thought. Thinking, mm-hmm. I mean, you can have a thought, you can have a thing, it will just go past. It will just it will just go past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, I also um, have been trying to control my feelings and thoughts before I understood this understanding. I thought it was to be in a specific way to express different emotions. So especially with anger, I was um, brought up with a very um, passive aggressive um, father. And then it was difficult for me to, uh, I don't know how to use that feeling. I don't know how to express or feel that feeling. So it wasn't a strange thing for me, but I sometimes feel that, but I didn't know what to do with that. And and then with with the abuse or with this dysfunctional family, and, and I, I had to figure it out what, um, how to be okay with any feelings. So when I read books about anger management or express your anger, and I I did sound healing, I did different kind of way of to get rid of that feeling. (laughs) And it was fun adventure also. But when I understood this understanding, I remember talking with my husband and he said something that wasn't okay for me. And, and then some, somehow I felt this huge wave of saying that was not okay. And, and just naturally let it go and let it show. <laughs> it was surprising for me to not even have to um, do it or plan it. <laughs> it just happened. And I knew that and I, and I knew that it was healthy for me to say that was not okay. And I felt like as if I was a big mountain, like I can be there for myself. I can, I can be there for myself and, and, and I am fine with being in that feeling and, and saying no. <laughs> and I felt so fresh. I felt so refreshed with that new born feeling of have, having a good relationship in any feelings so that is so new and it, it's so wonderful just to be able to be anything that comes and and I know that um, and 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 I'm I felt so powerful but in a good way in a clean scene in a in a in a healthy way, and and it's it's a, such a beautiful gift um, for me to have been experienced those opposite um, experiences in life. When I thought that it was outside in, and and then I when I thought it's from my thoughts. So I I I can I I will ever forever <laughs> in this lifetime will be always talking about how grateful I am to this it's a true true gift and and it warm, warms my heart because I am being a I am now a better wife a better mama and a, a better girlfriend and 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 it's easier to be with myself even though I have days where it's everything is shitty, but it's okay also to be there, even though I don't want to be there, but I'm there. <laughs> so I am so grateful for that. I am, I am forever grateful. And thank you for listening to me. Uh, I don't know how long we have left. <laughs> I will be back. I will be coming back to my family. But I guess your your husband and your children may know (laughs) 
want us to do that. So um, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just really up to you if you have a bit more time and if anybody else has anything else they would like to, to share or say. Um, so feel free to unmute yourself. Um, Hi, thank you so much. It was really great. It's Kathy here. Hi, Kathy. Um, you know, what came to me when you were talking and then when Christopher talked um, was in, in an early recording that I heard of Sid, he spoke I, something like this. This is what I heard. I don't know if this is what he said, but he said, when you get a glimpse of this, you just go and live your life. And there's no end to the depth of beauty that'll be revealed to you. And so when you're talking about being able to feel those feelings and not being afraid of that anymore, you know, for me, it's like returning to the wholeness mm -hmm. that we were, this is healing. And so we have access to all of those feelings without needing to, um, like I'm always learning, I just go and live my ordinary life and it teaches me, you know? It's like I know where my experience is coming from now. So it isn't confusing, even in the difficult times, if there's anger or despair or sadness, because I understand where my experience is coming from, I'm not blaming the outside world anymore, like you said, and so it's always instructive to me. So as I live my life, more and more is revealed to me. And so that is so beautiful too. I feel so grateful for that because that means I don't have to be afraid of my own experience of life anymore. It is such a gift. And most of my life was, I was afraid of what might happen and what I might do in response. So that in itself is so transformative. Again, this gratitude just wells up and knowing that our life, you know, is just going to be this continual unfolding of understanding and deeper and deeper beauty. I mean, come on. You know? <laughs> and, and I don't mean that in a, you know, this isn't in an airy fairy kind of rose colored glasses. This is means the, the really challenging, difficult things just enrich my life so much with this understanding that my arms are wide open to life now. Whereas before I was, you know, closed off and afraid. And that difference means everything. So I, you know, I heard so much, heard so much in what you shared. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And Christopher too. Thanks, Christopher. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Kathy. That's thank you. <laughs> and so much color, isn't it? She's you just you're just full of color how beautiful <laughs> it's, I love color <laughs> you were saying like you are not afraid of anything like is that how freeing is that how liberating you know your face is like yes to just just bring life to me because uh, <laughs> nothing nothing can hurt me um and and uh, you know it's this and as you let yourself feel because you're not limiting yourself to feel within this bandwidth. So your bandwidth expands. And what I found is that my grief is now huge when I feel grief. Also is my happiness is bigger. And, and but you know, when happiness is bigger, I'm like, oh, wow, what a beautiful feeling. But when I feel like I'm having like a bad day or a bad moment, or I'm like, the darkness is so dark. And it's like, you know, oh my God, I didn't sign up for this one, you know? <laughs> but I realized that, oh, wow, okay. So as you were saying, Kathy's like, oh, it opens up to something else. It opens up to something else. Um, yeah, that richness, you know, even <laughs> grief. Yeah. And in sadness, there's a there's a beauty, there's a quality of beauty to that experience, because I'm not afraid of my experience anymore. I know that love is behind all of it in some mysterious way. And so without resisting it, 
it hmm. all of it teaches me all of it and all of it grows me you know all of it evolves me everything deepens my understanding and and so yeah bring it on it's like so you're living life with your arms and your heart wide open now whereas before you know for 50 years maybe i was shut down and contracted and afraid and depressed and it's it's the opposite now and again the gratitude off the charts you know so yeah yeah and and i think also like what we see with increase uh, please correct me if that's not right but um you can't define anybody now as a, I am an angry person or I am a, you know, a depressed person or I am, you know, you, you can feel a lot of anger. You can probably increase now, you can feel a lot more anger than before or, or now anger doesn't seem so interesting or important. But now you know that that feeling doesn't call you to, to have to do something, you know? It's like sometimes the good thing about feeling angry is that it tells you you're supposed to put limits. Like what Ivalo was saying, you know, it's as wisdom gives you what you need and you are now able to be somebody that doesn't let people, you know, say harmful things to you. You can say, look, it's up to there and no more. And, and you can protect others as well. You can walk away mm. from from, uh, from difficult and hurtful relationships without having to stop loving the person. Mm. And with time, many of us may, may have found that we could have even start seeing the innocence with that person have done that. Um, but you can now experience all the anger you want because you, you can say stop it or you can punch somebody if they're actually coming to hurt you or you can, you can think, oh, I don't, I don't have to react to this in that way. I could remove myself. Like if I'm feeling that, you know, that, oh my God, what I'm gonna do with this baby doesn't stop crying, I'm going crazy. Maybe that's the time to say, I'm gonna take a minute you know, or you can look at your partner and, and, and see with how much innocence they are going crazy. They, they haven't had a, a second of silence in that, you know, <laughs> and you can say, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll have the baby and you go have a bath. You, you'll have a shower, you have a cup of tea. Just, just go for a walk. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. I need to go back to Phoenix, so I'm just going to quickly say he said hello. He said hello. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> These quarantine stops and we're going to babysit so you can both go out somewhere. So I guess it's a beautiful time to to bring it to an end with that with that with that little cry um, <laughs> of, of pure innocence and you know, Eva, you you have got us today to such a beautiful place and in such a beautiful feeling. Um, we we absolutely love you with all our hearts and. It's been an honor to have you here. Thank you so much. Um, there's really no, no barriers and no, no distances. Um, and also for everybody else here, you know, there's people like from so many places around the world and we can all be here sitting in a living room, just having a chat. Um, 
So um, where can people find you? So because um, you, you're a free pe facilitator and uh, you wrote a book and, um, and I'm sure people are going to want to uh, connect with you. So um, you can let us know here and then we can also add um, the information. Yeah, the easiest is Facebook, <laughs> right? Okay. My name and find me if you want to connect. And then we can write or talk or, yeah. But we also have a little um, non profit organization here in Greenland. And we have done a few uh, webinars and then 3P. Three principle or this understanding is um, growing or expanding here in Greenland easily, and it, and it's nice to follow and to watch what's happening. Beautiful. Mm. And you're also either translating or or teaching in in um, in your own language. Yeah, we are. Uh, sharing in Greenlandic and Danish and one of Mette Louise Holland's book is translated into Greenlandic and yeah brilliant so thank you so much again you. and, um, next week we're gonna you know it's, it's Valentine's Day on, on Sunday <laughs> uh, it's a good excuse just to spread more love and to, to just talk about love and hearts. And um, so next Wednesday, we're going to have uh, Nicola Drew. Uh, Nicola, um, she, she wrote a book um, from, from basically starting with having experience with her child and our problem with his heart and in an operation. And then um, HeartLink, which is a charity for children um, with heart conditions really, really helped them. And she really wanted to do something uh, to help the charity and to help other people. So um, he got stories from many people that have experiences around the principles and, um, and uh, I'm banging my head on, on the wall because uh, she, she sent me the message and, and it was one of those things that just I, I didn't see at that time, but um, the book is beautiful. It's called From the Heart. Uh, so, uh, and the the profits from that book go completely to the charity. And she's raising a lot of money to help other other people that have to go through through those situations. You know, where you have to your your little child with with a heart condition, and you know that there's so many costs that come with that, and and also help. You know. To, to go through those things. So Nicola's gonna talk about this and, and what she's doing. And also they're starting to uh, write a book with David Hill, um, which is a book to help veterans and veterans are gonna tell their stories um, as well in another book, which is gonna go to the charity that's gonna help veterans uh, with PTSD or, or any, uh, personal problems that they're having so that's happening next week and it will be lovely to have you here and uh and anybody that wants to join us so thank you so much um and uh from my heart <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and from everybody's heart thank you we love you and um and we'll see you soon thank you bye